Now, of course, uh, Lee Carsley's England, not going to be saying that for much longer, are we? No. Uh, are over in Greece and they go in against uh, Greece tonight in their latest Nations League encounter. But Harry Kane, well, he stays with the squad. He's in the squad. He'll be the captain. He's accused some of his England teammates of forgetting the importance of playing for their country after nine pulled out of this week's internationals. He's been speaking to ITV about the importance of playing for your country. Every camp, people were excited to come. Every camp, people wanted to play for England. And yeah, that's the most important thing. I think England comes before anything. England comes before club. England is the most important you know, thing you, you play as a professional footballer. So, and Gareth was, you know, hot on that and uh, he weren't afraid to make decisions if, you know, that started to drift from, from certain players. It's a shame this week. Obviously, it's a tough period of the season and maybe, yeah, maybe there's been a taking advantage of that a little bit. I don't really like it, if I'm totally honest. I think, like I just said there, I think England comes before anything, any club situation. He doesn't like it. Maybe people at certain clubs are taking advantage of a situation. Harry doesn't like that. I mean, are we living in an era, Simon, that country should always come first, then club? Um, I don't know the answer to that question because it has to be based upon the individual motivation. I mean, I mean, Alan Shearer packed in playing international football, I think, at 29 because he wanted to prolong his domestic career. Um, it's upon the individual. International football doesn't have quite the same resonance as domestic football because the domestic football now becomes so dominant. There's so many different tournaments, so many different uh, um, sides that are so much in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the thrall of people. I think there has to be a balance struck. Look, I mean, first and foremost, you can't just cry off international duty. You can't just... You have to... If, you, if you're called up, you have to go. And, 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 the, and the International Federation has the right to validate any injury that you have. So you can't just make it up because uh, you can be called into the equation to justify your existence and to justify the existence of an injury um i mean i'd like also you know harry to to look at the fact that when you're called up you have to perform at a high level which he didn't do in the euro so it's all well and good being called up it's also about performing whilst you're being called up so let's have that one right whilst you're giving everyone else a lecture i mean he's playing in a different league now uh, than the domestic premier league i think i don't know if he is indeed pointing his guns at people and suggesting really in, 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 that he feels they're letting their country down. But I, I don't feel that way. I mean, I don't, I don't think it's a Lord Kitchener moment that if you're called up for international duty, you have to go. On the converse, I disliked intensely the way Ben White behaved um, and felt that was wrong. So I'm, I'm trying not to be a hypocrite in the same argument um, because... What, you didn't like the way White was saying, no, England's not for me, and now seemingly yeah. once Tuchel... Is is in charge? Yeah, England I, might be I, yeah, for me. Again. Yeah, I hope he doesn't get his. I hope he gets no reward for the fact that if you don't like something, you there's plenty of things in life that people don't like. Why? But maybe it was a point of principle well, to do with uh, a, a difference of opinion with someone in the last regime. But you can't always. If it says something about your character, if the only thing you can go into an environment is the ones that you like. There's plenty of things in life that people don't like. There's plenty of things in people life that people have to get over and adjust to and find a way around rather than going, not for me, I'm walking away. I think it says a certain character. You wouldn't want that sort of character in the trenches next to you when it gets you know, dirty and dark and the muck does, and bullets start flying. Does it not show he's strong-minded? I think it shows that he's motivated by his own intentions. I mean, I, I can't be more specific about why Ben White did or didn't call up for England. All I can react is the media stories that we heard and saw. And I didn't think that they were right, and I don't think he should be put back into the England framework as a reward. You for... don't think he should be back? Not particularly, no. No, I don't think he had the substance or the character to overcome the adversity that came his way as a result of whatever problems he had with whoever he had it. Uh, and so now, ultimately, that's now gone away, and back he'll sashay in. The balance between counselling somebody, making them con making them making them um, responsible for their actions. Uh, I, I oh, it goes in Liverpool. Go so Simon, you won't cancel a referee, but you will cancel Ben White. Well, that's why I'm I'm, I'm framing the conversation. I'm not cancelling him. I'm making I'm making him responsible for his, his actions. He didn't want to play for England. He didn't say something stupid that has been misinterpreted and been dug up four years ago and thrown back in his face. That's where I think cancellation of people is unfair because people get to redeem themselves. He chose at a time when his country could have utilised his talent to make himself unavailable in a World Cup tournament which comes around once every four years for reasons that we really don't know. But from the point of view of what we think we know, mm. I don't think show the character that we really want representing our country in big in big tournament opportunities. Now, going to Harry Kane's point of view... Yeah, but before we leave that, I thought you were the guy that always suggested everyone deserves a second chance. Well, it depends what you're giving them a second chance from. 
if they've said something stupid or there's no nuance or context to it, and if there's lots of nuance and context to the reasons why Ben White didn't want to play for England, I'm happy to be corrected. Um, but as I see at this moment in time, not wanting to play for your country because you don't like something is not much of an excuse. Because from my point of view, there's plenty of things in life that all of us experience. We just don't have to experience in a rarefied era of professional football where we can have this sort of indulgent attitude where we can pick and choose what we do and don't like. I only like praise. I don't like criticism. Well, what a wonderful world that you live in because everyone else lives in a real world where actually if, you're, if you don't do something very well, you're called out for it. Yeah, but is it, is it not as equally small-minded not to pick them? Because of something that happened in a previous regime, but no, we don't. We don't touch Ben. Well, I think it's about, I think in this instance, it's also about character. And if you've illustrated that when you, that when it gets a bit hot in the kitchen, you don't particularly like it, and it doesn't suit you, because mm. if it only if the only time you function is when everything suits you, then you're going to find yourself once you're out of this little wonderful bubble of football in the world where nobody gives a monkeys about how many sunbeds you go on and how high you pull your shorts up and which football team you play for <laughs> and they actually only care about what kind of character you are you're going to find yourself coming up and short in life <laughs> uh, What about Carsley? He was asked if clubs were in any way putting pressure on players to withdraw with so many withdrawals is that not a decent question to ask? No, definitely not. I think it's, you know, we've got a, we've got a really good relationship with all of the clubs, especially the med- medical department, so it is opinion, you know. I can only I can only deal with what what was in front of us. Um, you know, I think I think like we've said in the past, November is a challenging window. In the past, we've had you know eight nine call ups uh, call off. Sorry, I know the under twenty ones and the under under twenties have had a lot of uh, players that have pulled out as well. So I think it's it is definitely that period of the season where you know fatigue and and small injuries have have played a part in it. But you know, I think, like I say, it's um, it's. You know, it's a brilliant opportunity for other other players that that were on the outside of the squad, and now it's their now it's their chance. See, it's as good a time as any to put you on the spot, former owner of Crystal Palace, Mr. Jordan. Did you ever say to your manager any time, "Look, so and so, I know he's been called up, but we need him." So here's the deal: invent a tweak, invent a little injury. No, I mean I did. I've told you a story before about the uh, the Finnish captain Aki Rialati mm. that we that had been injured for a period of time. And we hadn't had him for six or seven months. And then he comes back and he's still not 100% fit. And the Finns call him up to play against Italy. Now, we have to let him go. Um, the Italians tell us that absolutely categorically they're not going to utilise him any great amount. They come off the bench, they start him instantaneously. He, and he wanted to play because he was against the Italians. He breaks down, we lose him for another six months. And that's the rub. That's the nature of the beast. And, you know, we all know, we know full well that other players in big clubs have been impressed upon by their manager the necessity of where their loyalty should lie. Yeah. It's it's a constant division, isn't it? Because the domestic managers are under pressure to produce outcomes. You saw Pep Guardiola last week making a broad statement about it was not right for players to come back from international duty injured. Yeah. yeah. And so on and so forth. I mean, this you, is more you, than coincidence, isn't it? You do know, you think? Withdrawing from the, the same squad, Alexander-Arnold, Rice, Saka, Palmer, Grealish, Ford and Colwell, Ramsdale, all pulled out. I mean... It's more than coincidence, isn't it? So, where do you think? Where do you? I mean, do you think? Kane, well, does Keane not have a point? What? Well, your country well, first. Well, if they're injured, they're injured. Right now, the question is: is are they injured? Because obviously, everything that comes out of a footballer's mouth is true. So, ultimately, we must take them at face value. Because I'm assuming that Jack Grealish wants to play. He's not getting much of a shake at Man City, is he? I'm assuming that he wants to establish himself in the England setup because he ain't established. Yeah, but Pep wasn't happy that Carson called him up. So, who's the criminal here then? Is it the player? Well, well, I think we can work it out for ourselves. So, again, if 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 the FA call a player up and he is injured, and the FA, the FA have the right to say, well, we're not entirely sure that you are, so we want you to report to us and we'll assess whether you're injured or not. We'll make the judgment call. Because that is their right, by the way. That's the FA's right. Oh, yeah. If you're called that. up and you yeah. have to come. Yeah. So I'm I'm I look at this and go, it's an opportunity for other players. All of these players that you often see inside football clubs that got lots of mouth about what they're entitled to and how they should be playing, and then you stick them in and they don't do anything. Yeah, but the ones that are in and around it now, as a result of getting an opportunity, will be nowhere near it when when Tuchel takes. Well, uh, you know, with respect to, with respect to the paltry effort that we put out with our top first class players uh, against the Greeks at Wembley, maybe that's good. Mm. Maybe we can get a better outcome by a group of younger players that have a bit more enthusiasm to the task in hand and don't embarrass themselves in the way that the, the first-choice players did against the Greeks in the last game. I was going to say, do you think you'll get something tonight or will you lose again to the Greeks? Um, I wouldn't be surprised against all the adversity because sometimes the best choice is no choice. 
I mean, the Greeks are not world beaters. They're, they're a decent side. They, they've won something that we haven't won for six decades, which is a tournament. They've got some, you know, some decent players. But I still think that if England play the way that they should play, they should get something out of the game. OK. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.